Okay, this next part we're going to be working on is uh, figure 209-6-51, and it's a slide. Um, so let's see, it's a metric part, so we're not going to worry about units in AutoCAD because it's all going to work out that way. We'll worry about those units later on. Um, it's 90 wide. There's a slot through the bottom of it here that is 50 wide, and it is 12 tall. Um, these little legs are only 20 wide there. Whatever's left over will be the one on the other side, but 90 minus 50 is 40 minus 20 is 20, so those are equal on each side. Um, as we move up the side here, what we know, do know is that this part up here is 44. So to the top, from the bottom to the top is 44. So that means we're looking at this piece right here, trying to figure out what we've got to cut out of that. And that depth right there is also 12. And it's safe to assume on this one that these line right up so one would fit over top of the other as you go uh, up. It's intended to, to look that way. All right, so that'll be... Um, this line will be kind of straight there. Then um, across the top, the width will be the same. We're going to cut out uh, that 20 also on each side of that. There's two holes that go through it right there. That those are those. Uh, those are the holes, and there's the diameter is 24. Off of that midpoint right there, you move this one down 35, and then copy that one down 96. Extrude them through, and cut them out. Oh, and the whole thing that gets extruded is 166. All right, might have to reference this a couple times as we go forward. Okay, now we're re ready to move on. So we'll go ahead and click AutoCAD, click New. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we'll go ahead and start by making a line. Oh, change this to UCS. Uh, change that to front. I'm going to go ahead and make a line that goes um, across this way, 20. And then it goes up, 12 over 50, down 12, and over that, back up that direction, 20. All right. All right, I'm going to scroll back a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go up the 44. Um, just to make this a little bit easier, go over 90, and then come down to this part right here. Okay, so there's a couple things we can do, is we know that this... Uh, um, We'll go ahead and press pull that out. We'll press pull this one out there, um, the 166. And um, I'm going to go ahead and erase off the end there what I already drew. Okay, um, let's go back and look. So we knew that that was 12 down and basically 20 across. So we'll draw a line. We can even do a polyline if you want to do a polyline. Go down 12, across 20, go up 12 and then C to close, uh, extrude that some ridiculous distance, way longer than 166, and I'm going to move it from, from use of that as my base, go to this corner here. Um, I'm then going to copy that one, copy that, and move it from, use this as my base point, and copy that over to that corner right there. That should be able to get what we want, then click subtract, select what I want to keep, right click, and then select what I want to get rid of, those things right there and now that's looks pretty good change my UCS back to world plane so I can put a circle on here with a center diameter on that center point which that was 24 if I remember correctly 24 so the diameter is 24 oops I messed up um, circle center diameter 24 <clears throat> and then I'll click erase and get rid of that um, it was 35 and then 96 35 and 96 so okay so we'll move this one first 35 um, then we'll copy it down from here base point out there 96 uh, I'm going to extrude these some ridiculous distance way farther than they need to be with my base point out here and then subtract again from what I want to keep and then what I want to get rid of. So that's it. Double click the mouse wheel. Um, zoom to the extents. I'm going to click save. Save as, oops, um, 209-6-51 slide and then create the PDF file. I go under print, PDF, extents, center, 
preview. Love it. Right click and plot. And that's good.